Welcome to Youth Sunday. Youth Sunday is a wonderful annual worship service created and led by our youth, grades 6 through 12. As the youth share their faith stories, gifts, and talents today, we hope that your life is blessed by our message today. We will be presenting our elementary children with Bibles today, and Jackson Williams will be receiving his hands-on Bible today. Let us begin our worship today in prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, we watch for you, we wait for you, we look for you, and we long for you. Come God, renew us, refresh us, restore us, and inspire us, that we may live and work to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join us for the call to worship from Psalm 71. For you, O Lord, are my hope. 
my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth. My praise is continually of you. I have been like a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. O oh God, from my youth you have taught me, and still I proclaim your wondrous deeds. asked the children to sing this is a little light of mine and today is a day where the youth group lead the worship and we show off our own light from both in the spotlight and behind the scenes and since the youth group is show it, showing off their light we ask that you sit back and enjoy while these children show off their own light of mine I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. 
I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I don't mind, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. When that light is mine, this little light is mine. 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 Mine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let us pray. Dear Lord, let us teach your word no matter our age. Lead us by example, by word, by actions, by love, and by faith. Continue reading scripture and spreading his word to those around you. Amen. The scripture reading for today is taken from The Message, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 11 through 14. Get the word out, teach all these things, and don't let anyone put you down because you're young. Teach believers with your life, by word, by demeanor, by love, by faith, by integrity. Stay at your post reading the scripture, giving counsel, teaching, and that special gift of ministry you were given when the leaders of the church laid their hands on you, and prayed keep that dusted off and in use. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of God endures forever. Thanks be to God. Over the course of my ministry, 33 years this month to be exact, I have been asked, why Christian education? Why youth ministry? Why children's ministry? Is it the fabulous Monday through Friday 9 to 5 schedule? Could it be the glorious vacations in 15 passenger vans? Maybe it's the abundance of jobs or opportunities for advancement. All kidding aside, truly it's this section of verses in 1 Timothy. The verses that remind me of what it is to serve in the church, to serve youth in the church, to teach by action, love, faith, and integrity, to study scripture and what it means for us today to teach and to counsel. I grew up the youngest of three. As my brother was getting ready to celebrate his 18th birthday, the day I was born. My sister, eight years old, so excited to share the only granddaughter spotlight, I'm sure. My mother, 36 years old at the time, was advised by her doctor that my birth could be detrimental to her and me. And as the youngest, I considered it my calling to help people laugh and to see the brighter side of life. But my adolescence hit my mother and I hard. When I was 13, my mother was getting ready to turn 50. So in technical terms, we were both experiencing a huge change in our bodies at the exact same time. My poor dad. Between heartbreak with boyfriends and friends who suddenly weren't friends anymore, or such confusing feelings, I turned to my youth leader for help. My youth group was the one place where I could be me. No judgment, no snide remarks. People who genuinely cared about me and listened to me. 
ultimately in college after changing my major five times. I settled on a major in religion and Christian education and youth ministry minors. I felt a call to be there for children and youth in ways that I couldn't as a teacher, to offer them an ear, a trusted alliance, or even truth teller if they needed. I wanted adolescents to know that there was a place where they were welcomed and cared for as they are. Confused, emotional, hurting, or struggling. It's in this verse when we see Paul, a mentor to Timothy, a new and young pastor at a church in Ephesus. Paul writes to Timothy to help him, to lift him up, and to offer guidance and encouragement. He basically tells Timothy, walk the talk, Timothy. You've got this. Our youth today are here to share their faith. They've studied this scripture, discussed it. They will share their love for Emmanuel, the people here who cared for and guided them, mentored them, to be honest and to share where they are, where they're going, and maybe how you were all a part of that process. I've asked our seniors specifically to share their stories today. At this time, Aaron Puckett and Abby Tittle will share their stories. What Emmanuel means to me. So for me, the people I've met at Emmanuel are like family, and the church itself has been like a home. There are people there who've known me a few years now, and there are others who have watched me grow up for almost two decades. Uh, throughout my life, whether it was, say, my first youth group or lis having Will listen to me ramble on about cartoons growing up, Emmanuel has been a place of strong faith and happy memories for me. Hello, my name is Abby Tittle and I'm a senior this year. I'm going to be graduating from Sienega High School. Um, but my story with Emmanuel started when I was in kindergarten, when my family moved here from Georgia because my dad was going to be the pastor here at Emmanuel. And he's been the pastor here ever since. And that means that I've been here at Emmanuel ever since. And I've, I've grown up here at this church and I will always be so thankful for the people here like my Sunday school teachers and the people I did VBS with and all the kids at youth group over the years that I've been friends with and all of my youth leaders, I will always appreciate my time at Emmanuel and and the people that, that have been here and have shown hospitality and love and, and care for me. And I love how I can see the reflection of the way Christ loves us through the way that you guys have loved and supported me. And I know that even though I'm going away to NAU, I can always come back and see your familiar faces and know that uh, you guys won't hesitate to be welcoming and, and caring. And so I just wanted to thank you guys for everything over the years. You guys truly feel like home and um, it's very comforting to know that when I come home for the holidays, that you guys will, will be there for me and I promise to stay in touch. Thank you for sharing, Erin and Abby. While we were planning the service today and studying the scripture passage, I think the youth were sort of surprised that the Bible could be so relevant for today. One thing we discussed is that everyone brings different talents to the table. That different generations can change how the church works. Last March, while many churches were taken aback and struggled to figure out videos, YouTube, and Zoom, John and the leaders at Emmanuel turned to a young lady, Abby Tittle, to lead the way in her passion for videography. It was our youth that helped me learn the nuances of Zoom. Through the leadership of our youth, we are more relevant to a growing number of millennials and Gen Zers who use the internet to experience faith, to discover God in their lives. The youth group also recognized that everyone has something to give the church, no matter what their age is. Age is indifferent. 
If you have a good head on your shoulders and some creative ideas, step in and better your community. Different generations interact with God differently. So we should share those with each other in order to further our relationships with each other and with God and learn new ways of worshiping together. All together, we create the church to worship God. It is our hope that you have been able to grow in your faith, love, and gift of ministry that we each have through our worship today. As Paul says, keep that gift dusted off and in use. This week, I would encourage you to reflect upon your day and see the ways that you served God and how one simple action or word in your day can impact a lot of people. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we give thanks and praise for all teachers of faith, for those who have taught your word. We pray for all who are in doubt about their future. Holy Spirit, we wait for you. Strengthen and restore us. Strengthen those who work to meet the needs of your world. We pray for all who work in industry, for all the agricultural workers, and for all who work upon the seas. Holy Spirit, we wait for you. Strengthen and restore us. Lord, guide the communities in our homes and in our streets, and that our loved ones may live and abide in peace. Holy Spirit, we wait for you. Strengthen and restore us. For those who are waiting for test results or a doctor's diagnosis, support all who are nearing the hour of death or standing by an ailing loved one. Holy Spirit, we wait for you. Strengthen and restore us. We pray for all our loved ones departed, and with you they may know a new beginning. Holy Spirit, we wait for you. Strengthen and restore us. Amen. Please join us in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. At this time, we would like to recognize our graduates. The quilts that we'll see today have been lovingly and prayerfully created by our quilters. We're so thankful to them for taking the time to make these beautiful quilts. We hope that they will be a visible reminder to our seniors of Emmanuel's love, support, and unbreakable connection with you. Let us pray. God, we thank you for the gifts of these graduates, their excitement, their awesome wonder, curiosity, their open speech, and encouraging words. Their contributions have blessed and challenged us, and we have become richer and more diverse community because of them. As they step forward into the world that awaits, comfort their fears, strengthen their resolve to walk in the footsteps of Jesus as modern day disciples in a world that needs their spirit. Guide their feet as they move through life, protecting them from the pitfalls of darkness while they help lead future generations into the warmth and promise of your light. We ask this blessing upon each of them. In Jesus' name, amen. I was there to hear your burning cry. I'll be there when you are old. I rejoice the day you were baptized to see your life unfold. I was there when you were but a child with the faith to suit you well. In a blaze of light you wandered off to find where demons dwell. When you heard the wonder of the word, I was there to cheer you on. You were raised to praise the living Lord To whom you now belong 
If you find someone to share your time And you join your hearts as one I'll be there to make your verses rhyme From dust till rising sun In the middle ages of your life Not too old, no longer young I'll be there to guide you through the night Complete what I've begun When the evening gently closes in And you shut your weary eyes I'll be there as I have always been With just one more surprise I was there to hear your burning cry I'll be there when you are old I rejoice the day you were baptized To see your life unfold Go out into the world in peace Have courage Hold on to what is good Strengthen the faint-hearted Support the weak Help the suffering Honor all people, honor all creation, love and serve the Lord, and may the love of God and the light of Christ be with us all. And all God's children said, Amen. Thank you.